Hello collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random reading. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay just take what does resonate and toss out the rest right. Don't try to force anything into your world and thank you so much everybody for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Um, you guys are so good to me every single day. I, I you know I haven't, I've never been shown this much kindness before, so thank you so much. I love you all, my soul tribe, my peeps. Um, okay, so what I'm seeing here is, I'm seeing that somebody has a decision to make when it comes to love, and I feel like there's a person from your past who just can't stop focusing on you, okay? Um, if you really look at the lover's card, you're looking up here at the divine, getting messages. Um, I feel like you're receiving messages about something new coming towards you, okay? But there's this person from your past um, who can't stop focusing on you, all right? I feel like they, they want a new beginning with you, but... Um, I feel like it's you, uh, collective, that's trying to get your balance and trying to kind of decide between something, someone from your past returning and somebody new coming in that you may not have even met yet. I feel like with the temperance angel coming out, they're telling me they're mixing that one. They're mixing a new soulmate connection up for you. Okay, um, but so I don't feel like you've met someone yet. I feel like you're trying to make this a decision in love, sort of um, just using your intuition, just uh, going off of the messages that you're getting. You can feel someone new coming into the picture here. You can. With the turn of a wheel, you know that there's a new person coming for you that's going to just choose you. You. They're going to see you. They're going to know that they want you. They're going to choose you, right? Um yeah, but you know you may have to be patient for this. It's in the works. It's in the works right now. They're mixing it up for you now. But you've got these memories. You can also feel that there's someone from your past, possibly your twin flame. Doesn't have to be, though. I feel like this person just can't stop thinking about you. you you're thinking about them as well, maybe. And I feel like... Um, I feel like you're having a hard time deciding what to do. Like, uh, part of you wants to see if this uh, past person is going to come towards you. And part of you, um, you know, is waiting, you're waiting for someone new. I feel like this person from your past, too, they weren't honest with you. I, and this is the problem. Uh, you're having a difficult time, I feel, getting your balance and figuring out what you want. I feel like you have a lot of love for this person from your past collective, but you were honest with them. They were not honest with you. I, I've been I really um, noticing this big hoodie that this, that this person has on. They were hiding pretty much everything from you when they offered you a cup of love, okay? Um you could have known this person for a long time. I feel like they, they were hiding something from you. This could be somebody who's a bit older than you. They may have uh, seen you as fairly naive um, because, you know, they knew that you were gentle, sweet, kind, wouldn't have hurt them. They knew you were being honest with them. You may have looked up to this person. Um, that's the feeling that I'm getting. So there's a lot of history between you, I feel, even if it... Even for those of you who it was, you know, maybe a quick kind of relationship connection, there's, there's that feeling, that strong history. And this could be a past life soulmate, okay? So it's like it's really hard for you to kind of let, you have to let something go here, right? And figure out what it is that you want to work on. And I feel like you're having a hard time with this. You're in this transition right before the Lionsgate portal, right? Um, where you, you're you feeling both energies, okay? And I feel like this person from your past, you know, they can't stop focusing on you here, for real. This person's, I'm feeling like they're obsessed. Obsessed to the point where they can't focus on their own lives. Everything behind them is burning to, to a crisp. You're only um, wanting to go where the divine is leading you, okay? 
Um, and I think you've got some inner turmoil about that, right? Because you have free will, you have a choice. Wait and see what this person from your past does. Are they going to make it right? Are they going to want a new beginning? Or do you, do you trust in the divine that they're bringing somebody in for you? You can feel both energies here. And I feel like, you know, this person from your past, they can't stop thinking about you. So they want a, they want a new beginning, but it's almost like, what do I do here? What do I do here? You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Um, clarify this Ace of Wands. Yeah. Sun in reverse. Yeah, what is this person? I feel like what you're thinking of... Is, is this person in the past, are they going to make you happy? Are they going to be real with you? Um, you're on a spiritual journey here. Everything in this cup, um, it's not just love. It's your spirituality. I feel like you're asking the divine, you know, what's going to make me happy? Am I going to be happy with this person or am I, am I, am I going to be happier with this one coming in? And keep in mind, I feel like you haven't met this new person yet. You're, um, the temperance angel says, be patient. We're working on it. Okay? Be patient. We're working on it. Put your toe in the water. Try some new things. Put yourself out there. Um, but, you know, I feel like part of you is really sad, too, because you have all this love for this person in your past, but you don't know if you can trust them because they've been hiding things from you. They, they possibly could have lied to you. Um, taking advantage of your innocence here, okay? So you don't, you know, this, even though you have this big cup of love for this person, it's not making you happy, okay? It's not making you happy. And you know what? Honestly, I feel like you're already happy alone. I feel like this person left you alone for... <laughs> for far too long and now you're you're happy on your own you don't really need anyone okay you've got everything you want here need here the only thing you don't have is that tenth pentacle the right offer and this person hasn't come through with it and you're you could be all up in your emotions yet you have all this love you don't know if, if you should release or not um, you, you know that you're not happy in this energy um, and you just, I, I feel like you want something new, but you're reluctant to, to let, to release the past. Okay. You're very high vibing though. Like um, it's, it's almost like you remind yourself all of a sudden, but I don't really need anyone. I'm, I'm independent, right? I'm building something of my own. Maybe that's what it is when you get in your emotions you reach for something creative and transform and transmute that energy into something you can grow for yourself, you know, uh, and you're becoming very abundant because this person just has taken too long. I'm looking at the little snail. They've just been taken too long to come forward. They left you to be independent, um, you know, and, and be, like they left you to heal work through this i feel like it's like a emotional sadness but still at the same time it's an enlightenment it's sad to release this person yet you don't you're happy alone you're independent you're strong and once again receiving messages from the divine too i feel like there's a masculine the masculine energy that you could be thinking about from your past they're in a lot of regret as well, but they're focused on right now. I feel like they're focusing on all that didn't go right in their life. They could have even tried to um, replace you, you know, replace you with with other cups of love here that didn't work out. They they I feel like this person tried maybe, but they can't. They're sitting down uh, pouting because they, they realize there's not going to be. A replacement for you so I feel like this this past person is thinking about you like you're thinking about them it's kind of a mirroring thing but you know you also know like you have to let go of something here you also know that um, 
you're juggling like what do i do what do i do you can feel this person's energy i feel like you can feel you the mirroring of of each other because your person's energy is close i mean they're obsessing over you okay you're gonna feel that but you also know and are having faith in receiving messages from the divine that this, this little bird is telling you it's okay be patient we're mixing something up for you like this is what they're telling you here it's just really hard to let go because it's very emotional yeah this person whoever you're with they could be still in a toxic situation yeah with the devil energy and you're not you're in um, divine energy here the star you could be an Aquarius, you could be a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a, uh, you could be a Gemini, uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe. What, any water sign? Just as I say that. I feel like this person that's in the toxic situation here, they're able to see you. That's why they're watching you all the time. You're putting yourself out there. You're um, shining like a, like a star. You're in the spotlight here, guiding other people, an empath, a healer, someone very intuitive, someone who's being divinely led. And I, I feel like you're, you're putting love out there and they're, you know they're they're feeling stuck they all they can do is just kind of watch you while they remain chained um getting burned basically in a toxic situation this person I, the, you know and i feel like they know it's not working out this is someone who wants out of it and they want to come they want to come towards love which would be you but you're like you're you're right at that line you're right at a line right where you're still kind of wondering if this person from your past is going to come towards you and and make it right or um you know when is when is the new person coming in right so you're kind of like up in the air like what's going on what what should i do um all you want i feel is your wish fulfillment so do they uh, yeah, they're making a judgment. I feel like just as they make a judgment call, they're realizing it may be too late. Um, this is a decision being made. This could even be messages coming to you about this. Wish fulfillment, right? I've got the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I feel like that's your person's energy, or it could be your fear. Well, if I make the wrong decision, am I going to lose wish fulfillment? Okay? That's, I feel like, a big fear for you. If I, if I decide wrong, am, am I going to lose my wish fulfillment, right? Because, I mean, I feel like um, it's either you or your person has a lot of options. You know, I, I feel like this could be you, options all around you. Um, what option do you choose, right? Do you, do you wait to see what this person is going to do from your past? Or do you go on to new love, right? I feel like this person, honestly, I feel like, um, I feel like this is whoever this person is with. I feel like this is a karmic individual here uh, who's extremely intelligent, but there's a storm coming. If you look at these clouds, it's like they're rising. Um, something's coming to the surface some yeah these two i feel like your person is already committed to a queen of swords they could be in a full-on commitment or something long term and this could be about money as well this king of pentacles i feel that you're thinking about um this is somebody who's very financially stable and it, it you know they're acting weird right they're pulling away they could be isolating themselves spending some time on their own to think about this and mope around, right? And this Queen of Swords that they're with, they know that they're thinking about you and they want the truth. They, they, they want this King of Pentacles to talk, but it's like their face is turned away and they're not speaking. I feel like this is the karmic situation, honestly. yeah i feel like somebody is you know here's the thing they 
I, I'm getting the sense that they were in the dark about a lot. This person from your past, okay? That you could be dealing with a Cancer or a, um, a Pisces maybe or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or an Aquarius. Take it however it resonates. But I feel like... Um, I, I feel like they were kept in the dark about something. I'm just feeling like things hidden, illusions. They may be, here's the, the, this person, this King of Pentacles may even be trying to hide that, you know, after supporting um, this Queen of Swords, they could be out of money. They, all they did was go uh, choose someone else to go struggle, basically, is what they did. They chose a struggle over a blessing in love and now it's like they want it back they want to come in and apologize they were under some kind of illusion or something or they may just want to hide that they're low on their money they may not want to let anybody know this person's really stressed out i feel like they they chose they chose some a place where they went to just lose everything okay they could have lost their stability. They could have health issues because they're stressed out so bad. They definitely followed the wrong person straight out into the cold. And I feel like it's all connected to their toxic relationship. Okay? So they're laying in bed at night thinking about all of this, crying in their hands, pacing the floors at 3 a.m., can't eat, can't sleep. All they want is this an, is a new beginning in love with you and that's why you're so I feel like you're so conflicted what do I do you know that this person wants you you know that um, they want another chance with you yet they're not coming forward because they're chained right here to this little pedestal that they're that the there's like a gnat in here a little pedestal right um, with the devil on it they are literally chained to the devil, providing maybe for someone else, and it's bringing them straight out into the cold. And I feel like the karmic individual here who's with them, they want the truth, and they keep asking for more from this King of Pentacles, who isn't really a King of Pentacles anymore. They're down on their luck now. You may be, you may be kind of sad over here um, and uh, wondering, do they just want you for money? They can see that you're very abundant. They're able to watch you grow here. But um, is that the reason? Like, do they want you for money? Do they want you for love? There's so many questions that you've got. I feel like this person from your past, they know they chose poorly and they feel stuck wobbling around um, out in the cold, okay? But, um, yeah, you. I feel like you have a judgment call to make between the past energy and future energy that you haven't met yet. And I feel like, yeah, it's, yeah, your person's whole foundation has fallen down. And I feel like they're losing that commitment too as well. Just being knocked out of the tower, tower moment after tower moment for this person, I feel. You know, it's like their very foundation. I, I feel like this once this person's money was hit, their whole foundation came down. Yeah, and they and now they can see themselves with you because they know you're someone they can build with, not somebody who's going to deplete them, okay? You're somebody they can build with. But I feel like there's a commitment, a toxic commitment here that's crashing. Yeah, it's coming to an end. They're, they're, uh, they were under some kind of illusion here that they could build with this Queen of Swords energy in this toxicity. I feel like it was codependent, and you can't build that way. So this is a commitment that's coming down. I feel like this person is losing a, a, this, their toxic commitment, and they're losing you at the same time. Because you do have new love coming in. And I feel like this is somebody that you may want. This person from your past may be somebody that you want. It's somebody that you have a lot of love for. Beautiful love. 
but um, this person, until they clean up the toxicity, I feel like um, the divine is just telling you to just have patience for the new because it's coming. Yeah, I feel like it's decision time, right? It's decision time. You're, you're going to have to use your intuition. You're going to have to figure out what to cut out and what not to cut out, okay? It's decision time here. Um, and you know you're going to, you, you need to make a decision for yourself. I feel like this person, this past person kept you waiting for communication that, that never came in, you know, and, uh, and you're, you've cut them off. You could have already blocked this person out, but you're still thinking about them because they're still thinking about you, right? And they're extremely burdened here because they know that they played you. I feel like they were already in a commitment, and that's what they were hiding, okay? That's what they were hiding. They came in, um, and they were interested in you. They had passion for you. They made an impulsive move towards you and used you and left, and left you sitting here abandoned with no answers, no communication. You're making a choice, though. I feel like you, honestly, collective, you know you can't keep juggling the the thought of this past person when new is coming in something needs to be cut out or 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 let go of and released so that you can be happy with a new person truly happy truly happy in the new cycle okay you know if you bring the thoughts and 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 the still wanting this person from your past into a new relationship that's not going to work. So you, I feel like now is the time to make a decision. Figure out what needs to be cut out. Get your balance and figure out what it is that you want, right? Yeah, I, look, you've got love coming in. It may be from someone deceptive, though. They want to sneak. Look, this person plans on sneaking away from their commitment. See, they're sneaking away to, offer, to make you a love offer. They know they've got to come in. They want to come in fast here. This person is in love with you. Your, your past person is in love with you. But they need to break free from a commitment. And they, they, um, they may be trying to get away with something here, trying to plan a way to come forward. I feel like they're sneaking away from somebody they're committed to. To make you a love offer, uh, you know, that could be it. They were already committed and they snuck away to, to, to try to, you know, start things with you. I mean, there's a lot of reasons here, I think, why you don't trust this person anymore. I feel like this person from the past also wants a new decision, but or also wants a new path. Sorry, but look at all the twos. It's time to choose a path, no matter what side of the coin you're on. It's time to choose a path. You know why? And make sure you know what it is that you want. Because the new cycle is starting and the universe needs to know. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want somebody who's going to be sneaky and deceptive and being stuck and attached to something toxic? Or do you want, you know, the Ten of Cups, right? And somebody new coming in that's going to know what it is that they want. But this is somebody here, this new person, you don't see you don't see them coming yet. You can feel it, but you haven't met them yet. So still, you kind of need to make a blind decision here using your intuition. Okay? That's really what I'm getting here. Your person needs to decide a path. You need to decide a path. Right? All these twos out here, everybody across the board needs to know what it is that they want in the new cycle. And this new cycle is beginning, okay? Yeah, this is going to leave somebody feeling sad and depressed, okay? But, um, yeah, they know whatever they chose over you, it, it, it didn't have any love in it. I feel like it was all about money. They know they, they um, turned their back on real love and they're ashamed 
of how they treated you. There's a lot of shame here, a lot of guilt here. But the, the universe is still saying you need to decide. You need to choose a path. You need to choose a path. And as I say that, the divine is saying choose a path. You know. Clarify the higher font. I feel like this person could be held away from you until they take some kind of action on whatever it is that they want. Right now, all they're doing, I feel like they, they are starting to realize their spiritual path. They're getting some messages here, and they could be looking into it, like the spiritual journey, the twin flame journey. Um, they could be looking up the word karmic, you know, what's the definition of, right? What the, give me the definition of twin flame. They'll be there for a while, you know? Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is being told to choose a path and do some research on it, you know? Like the divine is out here saying, oh, really, you don't think you need to take any action on anything before the cycle begins and make a decision? Well, Google it. That's what the divine is saying. Google it. I'll wait. That's what they're saying. Go ahead. Google it, buddy. So they're, they're, they're Googling things, okay? <laughs> they are. And I feel like this person's getting really angry, to be honest, this masculine from your past. They're getting fairly angry because they're finding out the truth. And they're finding out about all the sabotage and, um, and the ways that they were held back in their life, you know? That's the feeling that I'm getting. And they're kind of angry. They're kind of angry. But I feel like this person is praying over it. Um, I feel like they know that everybody got their heart broken in this situation. And I feel like they're getting ready to come and talk. They could have gotten someone else pregnant here. Somebody new maybe. And they're, they're kind of stuck until they learn this lesson, okay? They're stuck until they do the work. So either way, you know, patience is out here, but you have to decide which one you want. Do you want the new you haven't met yet, or do you want this person from your past? I feel like they've met somebody new on the fly for some of them, not all of them. Um, in trying to maybe replace you with someone else. And uh, they could have gotten somebody pregnant. For some of you, that's all she wrote. Yeah, this person's feeling heartbroken. And like I said, um, they're feeling very stuck right now. Uh, they're being urged to look at the situation, maybe even Google it. But yeah, everybody got their heart broken in this third party situation. I feel like they met somebody new, you know, um, Queen of Wands energy. This could be, you know, I feel like they met somebody new and could have gotten somebody pregnant. Yeah, I feel like they are going to try to talk to you though. Um, you're gonna get the you you'll get the truth from this person if they come in, um, but it's it, it could trap you in your mind all over again just communicating with them. Okay, um, they're trying to get you to calmer waters here, but I see you face planted around all of these swords. That's all the heavy burdens that they're carrying. I think will come down on you. Um, I, I still think you need to make a decision, weigh it out, right? Weigh it out, because you're going to get the truth. And the temperance angel is out here. The energy is out here being mixed up for new love to come in. So, you know, like I said, you're, you know, this energy is coming in really fast. The fact that um, decisions are going to be made here, I feel, either way, right? You just need to decide what it is that you truly want, collective, okay? And what's going to work for you? What is going to take you to this Ten of Cups? What's going to bring you to the Ten of Cups? Your happiness, your emotional fulfillment, right? A happy family life, a happy life. Right now, 
you guys are already happy um, in Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. You're out here single. And you've built something solid for your standing on solid ground. So you just have, you know, you don't really need anyone in this energy. You're good out here being single. Now, you know, you being independent, you're not codependent. You have now a chance to choose who it is that you really want. What's going to take you to ultimate wish fulfillment? And it's time to choose. It's time to choose. Um, yeah, I feel like this new or this past person here, they they you may get a lot of uh, um, communication from them soon. But I feel like it's just going to get you stuck in your head again because they're still with somebody else. And this new person here, I feel like you haven't met them yet, right? So, you know, you, keeping the faith would be suggested in that one because I'm telling you, the divine is mixing you up, a new soulmate here. So you just need to decide. You need to make a clear decision here on whatever it is that you want and go for it. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, it's kind of a confusing reading for me, but that's, that's what I'm getting. So um, if you like this video, please click the like button, guys, right? Like, subscribe, comment, share these videos um, if you like the vibe and it's resonating with you. And until next time, everybody, take care of you and peace out.